Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Nick with September. Y'all now are tuned in to the Nick What's Up Hour. Should be watching from the YouTube page. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys coming through. You've been doing it regularly or whatever, trying to get these numbers up. You know what I'm saying? Make this more of a community. So hit that uh, subscribe button. Also, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know that you're feeling it. And leave some comments, man. I check the comments. Matter of fact, when these go live, I'm usually in the comments uh, following, following along. So when it goes live, you can come in and uh, follow along. So uh, just make sure you do that. Make sure you let, let me know that you're here. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Also, uh, my man Backpack Beats, back doing his thing. So y'all make sure to check out his page over at Backpack Beats with a Z. Also, also, my man got the merch popping. Um, so, you guys, make sure to check out the merch. It's really dope. And I think that, uh, yeah, he would appreciate it if you do the same. But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead, man, and get into this recording. I appreciate you guys. Also, check out the socials over here. Check out uh, Freedom Train Radio right there, right there. Uh, all the other podcasts on Freedom Train Radio uh, Joe with the fix, Pat with lessons from the screen, Shelby and Queen, Candice with uh, Shelby's World, and you got Freedom Train Radio with Pat and Joe, as well as uh, On the Shoulders of Giants, which uh, also has a YouTube page. So make sure to check out On the Soldier of Giants for my man uh, Joe Ward. So there we go. There you have it. Again, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. It's important. So <laughs> I'm getting to the I'm getting to the recording. It's been a long day. So <laughs> you guys be nice, please. Boom, 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 and we back. It's your boy Enigma September, and this is the Enigma Sep Hour. What you just heard was new music, at least new to me, with "This War" by Righteous. Yo, I was just I was just trying to educate Fee uh, just the other week about like the Afro Afro beat Afro vibes with Wiz Kid and. Uh, Burner Boy, I told him about his album a couple weeks ago, and yeah, that's that's the that's the vibe, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my man's passing that along to your boy, and yeah, apparently, I mean, there's a music video for it, <laughs> so you can check it out. It's directed by his Hava Shelf. I said that totally wrong. Righteous, please don't come in and fight me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh shout out to uh righteous man doing this thing worldwide you can find them at soundcloud.com backslash r-y-t-i-o-u-s dash one so you can check that out and if you like the music or whatever like i said got the definitely got the uh you know what I'm saying the afro vibes or whatever I, i'm really trying to see if my man's is like from over there, maybe from England, he could be right here in the States, who knows? But you don't have too many artists, especially local artists coming with that type of vibe just here in the States. But I could be wrong. It's not like it's not a bunch of Nigerians <laughs> and, and, and Ghanaian folk right here in the United States. What to y'all? Just out of Africa, man. Just out of Africans. I'm with it. I'm I am not one of these fools that, oh, you know, I descended from slaves. You don't count. Man, whatever. We black. Black and then black, black, black. <laughs> but anyway, enough about that. Welcome to episode 108 of the Enigma Self Hour podcast. I really hope I got that right because at this point, the number's just starting to blur. Yeah, I'm right. 108. Um, Bravo is 107. Shouts out to um, Bravo for you. last week episode. That was dope. I really, actually, 
I listen to my podcast. I do. I am one of the ones to go back and try to listen to what I've said. And this a convo was just like mad funny. We was just we was wild, and I can appreciate that from my man. So, um, yeah, shouts out there in Bravo for that. But uh, this week, this week, I got my man Blazel from Gainesville. Um, he's uh, introduced to him some. Uh, Shelby out here making TikTok videos. That's what y'all just heard. Shelby of Shelby's World <laughs> making TikTok videos. I'm getting the alert on my phone. But no, Blazer coming from Gainesville. Um, he came, he's, he's been doing a lot of work with um, Tallahassee MC, One Will. Actually, one of the songs we will play today will have One Will included in the track. But them boys been like, Ray and Meth as of late. Um, I told them they remind me of Wiz and, and Currency. Just with the style of flow and the vibe. Y'all see. Y'all see. So, yeah. But let me say this. Those in YouTube land who are brave enough to view my face, um, <laughs> I'll let y'all know, yeah, but your boy look kind of rough. Outside of the the Ashton Martin, um, I'm repping for Ashton Martin with the T-shirt. But other than that, I look rough. But I will say this: it has been a very long day, and one of these is one of the days that I'm definitely gonna look back on and be like, "Yo, that was a crazy day. It was a crazy day. Long day." Uh, thankfully, this is the Memorial Day. I'm not Memorial. <laughs> yeah, I told you it's a long day. It's definitely not Memorial Day. Uh, when you, by the time you guys are watching this, it's Labor Day, clearly. The end of the summer, the unofficial end of the summer. So, <sighs> put the deuces up for her. That was horrible, Chris Brown. But yeah. The unofficial end of summer, of course, the official end of summer is this, the fall equinox. The, what is it? No, not the fall. The uh, autumn, autumnal equinox. And then your boy, turn up. <laughs> it's a turn up. The podcast is named Enigma September. So, of course, it's a celebration. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm really going to overuse this button. I'm just going to really overuse this button today. Because, bitch, what I'm really about to do is turn all the way up. Ho, fuck you, stop. Mm. Yeah, that's what we're doing nowadays. Um, <laughs> I told you guys, you thought I was tripping when Bravo was here. No, sir. There's more to it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. I won't, I won't do it again. I apologize. I got, I got other gadgets. <laughs> and I'm bored. I got other gadgets and I'm bored. So I'm going to use them. <laughs> because, and there's not much to talk about. There's not much to talk about this week. Nope. Just going to run my mouth about anything. You, you have, have now, now entered, entered the, the Enigma, Enigma zone. Zone, 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 zone. Welcome, 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 welcome. What? Oh, wait, gadgets, 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 gadgets. <laughs> Hate me later. Just make sure it's not, it's not turned on. Okay. Hey, how are you today? Welcome to the show. Um. What are we gonna get into? I really want to get into something serious, cause some serious stuff did fall, uh, not fall, fall on my lap today. But I'm not. Just I, I say this: you gonna make it, keep it light. Don't be so happy, black people. Don't be so happy about celebrating white supremacy. Y'all, y'all, y'all really be falling. Y'all really be jumping on the nuts, man. All on the nuts. Y'all need to really get off the nuts, bro. Um, 
TPD here in Tallahassee. I know Tampa is confused right now. Like, TPD? Why is he talking about 813? Uh, Tallahassee Police Department, or not even them, like the state attorney, I don't know. I didn't read the article that. <laughs> oh, E, what happened to being completely informed? Yeah. But anyway, I know Tallahassee Democrat dropped the uh, grand jury decision to not um, indict uh, TPD officers regarding um, some deaths in the local area. Uh, one most famous or infamous um, during the uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, just civil right, civil unrest of the past few months, uh, one of the centerpieces have been um, Tony McDade, um, who uh, was a dear childhood friend to a lot of people that were close to me. And again, apparently I knew him uh, back in the day, but I, I can't recall, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna clout chase. However, uh, there was contention in re regarding his death and if it was justified. So the grand jury decided to say that it was justified and they saw, had video, bills presented and in the video, I, I, mean, I don't have to admit it is what it is. You can go see it. In the video, it shows Tony uh, holding up something uh, toward the uh, offending officer. And then uh, once they run up on Tony's body, uh, you see a, a small uh, gun next to his body as they try to uh, save his life unsuccessfully. So as it is what it is. And, and I just, I've seen too many people is just kind of like, Oh, see, see y'all, y'all shouldn't have been celebrating him and his life. He was a murderer and clearly the cop was in the right. Maybe, but that doesn't clear up all the gray area. One, the video came from, another officer, not the shooting officer. So the question still remains, why wasn't the cam of the shooting officer on so we can clearly see what he saw? And it just is not, doesn't make sense regarding uh, these officers who just happen to not have their cameras on because the cameras can really help their cause. If we could see what that officer saw versus what an officer saw that were that was yards away, meters away for my European folk uh, or the rest of the world, <laughs> people in Australia like we say meters too, fool. But you can you can see it barely, but it still was some time lapse. You don't see the actual shooting, and you don't see it from the angle from the cop that shot Tony. That would have been important. That would have been important regarding seeing from the officer, shooting officer's view, and also actually seeing the shooting. Because, and I want to look deeper, so I don't want to misspeak, because you know, I'm not accusing anything if, if that's what the grand jury decided. It is what it is. But to me, there's still some question because from what I remember, I could be wrong. I, I, I believe I heard someone say that Tony was walking away. So yeah, Tony could have put the gun up, but then he could have brought it down and walked away. Maybe it could have been a split second. Again, if the officer's camera was on or available, we could see if that was the case. But this idea that just because a gun was up and pointed at the cop that that made it justified, I probably would roll. I probably would be like, yeah, you know what? Nah, yep, yeah, that's it. It's a wrap. But, but just last week, there was a, a, a incident in front of the Florida Capitol where you had Black Lives Matter and there's another group, Capitol something. I can't think of the name of the the group, um, of course, they're, they're a, a progressive group. 
Um, not sure if they tied in with the Dream Defenders, but they're definitely another progressive group. I just can't think of the name, but they were holding um, uh, un unpermitted uh, protests in front of the Capitol. I didn't mean to take up all this time about this, but here we go. And they were in front, of, in front of the Capitol, and, and there was this guy who was apparently walking around uh, looking at uh, uh, car tags because they had the section blocked off by cars. So he going around writing the car tags. They The protesters confront him like, yo, what you doing? They walk him off. In the midst of walking him off, there's a skimmage. There's not can't, hard to determine if he pushed a young lady first, uh, but there was like this really big white dude that was behind them, and they got into it, and then all of a sudden, that's when he brandished his gun. But what, what you could see clear as day that he had the gun up and pointed at an officer, just like Tony. But he's alive today. And the question is, if you're going to say that if Tony had a gun up, that that means that justifies his death, then why wasn't that white guy shot down in front of a government building in a, in a main street? Why, why wasn't he shot down? He had exhibit violence just like Tony did, not in the same sense, of course, but he was a threat. He had a gun pointed at a police officer. And he wasn't even shot at, less long shot to death. And also, too, most times when you have these happen, you have these happen in different cities, different counties, so you have different departments. Both of these incidents dealt with or was uh, involved the Tallahassee Police Department, which means these officers got the same training. There's no different. It's not like one was trained in, in Colorado and the other was trained in L.A. Or one was trained in Portland and one was trained in New York. No. Same agency. Different result. Two differences. Tony was black. The guy who, well, three. I don't even know the guy's name. How about that? Tony was black, the guy was white. Tony was trans, the guy appeared to be uh, at least a man, if not a cis man. Bro, how do you, how, how do you describe that? How, how do you get away from that? And for, to see people, in particular black people, be kind of excited that the police department appears to be exonerated over a death of a black black person. Uh, Rub me the wrong way. I started to say nothing because, you know, people want to be confrontational or whatever, but I had to speak my piece because, um, no, first of all, I ain't celebrating no, no death of anybody. I mean, even when uh, Obama came out and said that he, uh, not he, but uh, was it SEAL, SEAL Team 6, um, so he gave the order to kill Bin Laden. Um, that wasn't nothing. I mean, that wasn't nothing to celebrate. There were people that were celebrating, and I remember there were people that were critical of the people that were celebrating and saying that it wasn't something to celebrate. It's still a death of somebody. Uh, so to see anybody, but in particular, anybody, black person, to be excited, you excited about the police getting off? For real, like you, that make you happy. Hey, this your dick hard. Come on, relax, relax. It's still a tragedy, all around. Tony's life was a tragedy. Or Sean, or whoever you want to recognize him or her, and I recognize there are people that recognize her as a she. It is what it is. Sorry, uh, sorry to my my progressives, but. Regardless, Malik Jackson, that's, that's horrible, you know. My 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 daughter's brother shares that name. When I first saw the name, I was shook. So I'm I'm not no one's excusing what Tony did. 
but it's a it's bigger fish to fry. We gotta recognize that, man. And also, too, let me say this: to kind of pivot from that, and and also to I guess to be even handed. Uh, when it come down to Tallahassee and my city, man, we gotta find out what we got what we're gonna do because the violence is getting too much. It is it, it's, it's getting too much. And we have to find we have to find a solution. And and the solution isn't really just to come down heavy. Right now we're on the curfew, which I think is ridiculous. I think it's uh it's it's heavy handed, especially for a city or a county. But we have to find a solution. And, and the solution is not gonna come easy. The solution is not gonna come quick. So if you think that it's just gonna come overnight, you are sadly mistaken. But first we have to get a lot of people on board. Maybe not most. Some people are ignorant. It is what it is. They're not gonna get it. But we need some more people to get it. And not necessarily people from the, from, from the neighborhood. And people from the neighborhood have to understand that the solution may not, or uh, part of the solution may not come from somebody from the neighborhood. Because this is a city problem. It don't matter if you reside on Magnolia Drive or if you reside in, on Braffordville or Benjamin Road. Everyone is affected because the violence that we see in this city really extends. It was violence out there. Somebody got robbed out there on the north side of town going out to Braffordville. I know a lot of people that's listening, they're like, yo, man, we ain't from Tallahassee. What you talking about? But this is, if you want a glimpse of what's going on in Tallahassee, hey, here we go. Um, but somebody got robbed and killed out there. So the violence affects the entire city. So don't, don't find yourself shut off because, oh, it's not on my side of town. Oh, that's over in 32304, of course, because that's the poorest zip code. It's not something to excuse or brush brush aside. It's deeper than that. And just like when cancer enters the body, body R.I.P. to chat with Bozeman. Um, I know I didn't mention it. I just missed the news when I recorded the last podcast. If you saw the video, the last video I, I did put a memorial at the end of the of episode 107. But um, yeah, rest in peace to chat with Bosman, um, his brother, there's a connection, his brother attended FAMU as an actor as well, so uh, peace and blessings to that man and, and his family. But like cancer, cancer attacks the whole body, but it starts somewhere. And this violence is a cancer that will spread if it's not stopped. And part of it is finding a solution, finding solutions. And honestly, to me, the glaring the glaring issue in Tallahassee is the fact that this city has been named the most segregated, economically segregated city in the country. So, and that's what I think of anytime people want to bring up that Tallahassee has gotten so violent, which they put a lot of weight on John, Mayor John Marks and put a lot of weight on that on Mayor Andrew Gilliam, but now that we have Mayor Daly, a white mayor, that that weight ain't really put on him. But regardless, that's not even, that's not the point. The point is something has to be done, and a lot of this is oh, this is that side of town. No, it's that side of town because that side of town ain't making no money. These kids ain't got no money, so they ain't got nothing to do but to go around and shoot up stuff. They got they can buy guns. They're not buying those guns. They're stolen because they got time, because they don't have jobs, or opportunity for careers here in town. We don't need a thousand and one restaurants. We don't need a fucking cheesecake factory. We need sustainable jobs. Rather it's auto, you know, Automobile making jobs, I don't know. Cell phone, cell phone manufacturing jobs. Something that's gonna put money in the city, not take money out the city. That's what's needed. That's, if you wanna quell the violence, that's what you gotta do. 
put money put money in their hands. Not free money, of course, but get an opportunity to make money. And it's not just easy as, oh, you, you find a way. It's not that easy. Clearly, it's an issue. Clearly, money isn't circulating that well. So if we you put money in the hand, the violence is going to slow up. We got to find a way how to do that. I got some ideas, but this is not a political podcast. <laughs> as much as it don't sound like it. But that's my take, man. That's my take. Y'all need to chill out, bro. Anyway, moving forward, because I don't waste all this time, and my man uh, Blaze is going to come through in a minute. Uh, of course, the biggest event this week was Brandy versus Monica. The versus was um, the largest. It continues to grow. Uh, at one point, there was 1.2 million viewers on Instagram alone. And I think another half million on Apple TV. I think in all, I forgot, I didn't... I should look at the numbers. <laughs> go, go go find Timberland. He's the reason they put it together. No, it was actually Missy, apparently. Uh now I say this. I didn't know uh I didn't know Monica slapped Brandy. That was crazy. Uh, my opinion, my opinion is my opinion was totally opposite than everybody else. <laughs> I had Monica up. I mean, I had Brandy up two up, two oh. In the beginning, everybody else was like, no, Monica was up 2 2 0. I'm like, the hell? And everybody, like, oh, Brandy who came in strong second half of the of the contest. I'm like, nah, Monica kind of came in. I, I don't know. Excuse me. Um, yeah, man. 100,000 in stream likes, um, 1.2 concurrent viewers, total viewers, uh, 4.2. That was just. Instagram, then they had 1.8 over in music, five trillion, yes, trillion impressions. Number one topic, of course. Yeah, they, they killed it. One almost two billion tweets um online, and also more tweets than the 2020 VMAs that came on that same week. It was trash. Uh they was they was on Lady Gaga dick. I don't understand. Uh, anybody used to listen to my old podcast know <laughs> knew I thought Lady Gaga actually had a dick at one point. But yeah, they was on Lady Gaga dick. She did a thing. I like Lady Gaga, but they had to relax. But yeah, um, I'm still team Brandy. It is what it is. I did. I will say this. I definitely underestimated Monica. I like Monica. I underestimated Monica. So fee, 59%. Monica still lost. <laughs> Yo, uh, I'm going to say this. I'm going to get to the next song. Well, two more things. Yo, Big Sean. Big Sean dropped uh, Detroit 2. You're going you gonna to hear it being called a classic. Just, just know. It's going to be called a classic. That's what's going to happen. So... Solid album, well put together, dope songs. There's maybe one or two songs out of 21 that he probably could have not added, which is a good average. Out of 21 songs, there's only two that was like, he could have said that, but they weren't even bad songs. They were still good songs. It was just like, I, I didn't need that. But other than that, solid, solid project. Um, the Jits may not like it because he's not doing that, whatever, but he killed it to me. Um, probably one of his most solid, concentrated um, projects to date. So, you know, rest in peace, Nalia Rivers, Riviera. Maybe that has something to do with it, but, you know, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle came in. And the way he the way he put Nipsey Hussle, the song he did with Nipsey Hussle, the way he put it was just excellent, excellent track listing. That's important when on the album making. And I'm a fan of album making. Uh, speaking of album making, my man Artisan P dropped How We Kept On today. Um, I told you guys last week, this Friday, which is when I'm recording this, to go ahead and cop that album so you get 100%. Regardless, if you did not cop it last Friday, cop it now. Cop it, cop it, cop it now. Um, so at least something to come, come back to on pause. And you can... 
celebrate. I bought it. I bought it today. So he got all my money. Not all my money. All my money goes to McKenzie and Fee. <laughs> but, but yo, Artist and P is definitely lucky. So I'm going to play that track. So this is Artist and P with Lucky. I'm going to come back with my man Blazel. This is the Enigma Sup Hour. You got time, baby. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And we back. It's your boy Enigma September. And this is the Enigma Sup Hour. What you just heard was my man Artist and P with Lucky. And without further ado, I got my man Blazel in the building. What's up, bro? No doubt, no doubt. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying fat niggas only. One will. You know, it is what it is. Fat niggas okay. only over here. Got, got to represent, got to represent, FNO. You got to run through it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna pitch that song. I'm gonna pitch that song. See if we can get a division. See if we can get a division started on the CNO. You know what I'm you know saying? What I'm Let's get, get, get a little spot in there, you know, for. President, uh, VP, VP President, and then it sound good right now. You feel me? You know <laughs> President September. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. President September. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to try get in. What, what's he, Lil Sam? Trying to get my fat ass when I fit. You know what I mean? I'm get a little off. Get a little off. Hey, restaurant, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So how, how's it been, bro? You know what I'm saying? Labor Day weekend. You know what I'm saying? We chilling. How's it been, how's it been holding how, how's it been holding up for you? I'm good, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just a black man. That's enough there. You feel me? Like, I'm just trying to maintain maybe just by the, keep it closer with everybody. Word, word, word. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy because you know it's 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 Labor Day weekend, but you know we got the the COVID nineteen joint. So it's like you want to be out, you but know, you know the COVID nineteen summer fair. You know what I'm saying? They take they hitting spots all around the country. They right. taking this tour all around the country. They hitting every city, every state, every county, every municipality. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody getting hit. It's like, hey, y'all gotta relax. I ain't trying to be quarantined by Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Christmas! Oh, we definitely gonna be in the house by Christmas. I'm yeah, saying, I'm just trying to be in the house by next summer. You feel me? That gave me yeah. enough time to get my body right, my summer body right. You feel me? Right. Yo, I, I got you know something. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some of this weight. I know how you smaller cats be. I was trying to get big. Like, you know what? I got some big for you. You can take some of this. I need a piece of that. I need a piece of that. I needed that. I need that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, a bun 35 wet. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, can go. You, look, you make it look good. I ain't going to lie to you. You make it look good. Nah, that's you, bro. Okay. That's you. My big guys, my big guys make it look good. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, relax. Yeah. We 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 securing our manhood. My man should say, "Hey, you look good, bro." And vice versa. We can do that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Don't be insecure. So, I mean, off top, I'm just keep it. You know what I'm saying? Mad simple or whatever. Uh, off top. Um. So with Blazel, I kind of, I think I know. Just knowing how you and one will get down. I think I know what Blazel may lead to, but I don't want to make any assumptions. So you want to break it down to the people, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, it's really as simple as like, um, we I like a long time ago when I was a kid, we used to work at the Taco Bell, and uh, they would have me working this drive through window. It's like, I have a thing where I don't tell people my name. Like I've always been like, because like, I don't ever tell no random strangers like my real name. Like, right. So we would be in, uh, uh, they would have me in this drive through line, and like I would just tell girls random names and shit. And then the girl didn't like the random name that I gave her one night. She was like, I'm going to call you hate. And like, you know what I'm saying? So she started calling me that. And like people trying to call me that around Taco Bell and shit. And then, like, my best friend, he kind of put it together. Like, right. He was like, 
He said, I kept going out on break. 15 minute break and coming back. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And like, he was like, the name ain't Hazel is Blake. So, me and that ever said, stuck like Chuck. Yo, I'm, I'm with it. I like it. I like it. It, ro- it rolls off the tone. That's what you want. Um, you don't want to be an idiot like me with a multi syllable name. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? How I many these young people come over here and fuck that up? Really, they, they don't fuck it up. They just, they they fuck it up that they even know. That's what fucks with me. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, yo, Enigma. Like, wait, what? Like, yo. Oh, you, said it. You, said it. <laughs> you know, I know that, that, was, that happened to me for a while because people used to be like, Lazelle. I'm like, where the fuck did y'all learn English from? That's <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they play. They clearly told us that anything like with that evil, like, bro, it's blaze, blaze, blaze. What did you, did you even see me put a hyphen over the A? Right. You never seen me put a hyphen over the A. You never see me have a hyphen over the A. So why do you think that's a solid A? Right. Why do you think that is a solid A? Huh? That is not a solid A, sir. It's blaze. <laughs> like, how do you even say blaze? Like, I didn't even know he was he like blaze. I'm like, what? Uh, well, no, you can, like even if you just be like, even if you be like Blaze and like say the L is the error or something, you feel right. me? Like, cause I have people be like, yo, Blaze. I'm like, it's Blaze, but they're like, oh, I don't. Know. And, oh, okay. They're like, Blazel. It's it's Blazel, 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 something to say, Blazel, something to say. Like, who is that, bro? Who is that? <laughs> and you got 75 people, you know, calling me Blazelle and shit. And I'm like, come on, bro. I got I got to correct everybody. Who's going to talk about Blazelle? I love you tonight. Like, nah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, though. I fuck with you. <laughs> so, yo, like, um, coming up, like, what, what got you... What made you what, you, what you, what got you motivated into making music? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was that uh, that moment you was like, yo, I want to fuck with this, like, for real? Uh, man. And as I got older, I realized, like, I had such a love for music. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I was a kid, like, I just loved all types, like, hip-hop, like, early 90s hip-hop, I, like, I love that shit. Like, West Coast, I love that shit. Like R and B that came out like mid ninety four ninety five, right. you know the one where they fucking grabbing the rain and shit. Like that's <laughs> that's that's my type of music. You know what right. I mean? Where they grabbing the rain, you feel me? Like and like so. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hit you with one of those. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just I just love I just love music. Man. As I got older, I just found ways to advance me getting music. You know what I'm saying? Different music, more music. Like that. I can remember when they first put like the internet, like not internet, but like uh, switch modems and put CDs, mm-hmm. CD players or modems in the library. I used right. to be in the library every day to burn the CDs <laughs> and burn the shit out of CDs. And stuff. You know what I'm saying? All the new music. I had shit people no, nobody had ever heard of. You know what I mean? And like, I, I was just an overall music lover. And then one day, I think, on the bus because like I do a lot of funny shit. Mm. Like, I came up with like a parody song and it was so easy. And I just was like, damn, that's crazy. Like I did just replace the words, but it's crazy how, you know what I mean? Right. And at that point I, I began to like be intrigued by the possibility of mm. being a musician or a rapper or something like that. So, you know, around seventeen or eighteen, like I, I Linked up with a friend who had his own, own studio. We kind of, we kind of been. Yeah, that's 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 important. When you got the the person with the connect, and you just like, yeah. yo, I come in and just record for basically whenever I want. You know what I'm saying? You just it, it, you know what? It wasn't even like that. It wasn't even like that. it was really on some time management shit. But like at first, like it really like like it was. I could tell like it was more than a hobby. Like I, I stuck. But I love to, I just love to like be there. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I, I wasn't that, I wasn't that great of an MC, 
Super Bowl. Like, I love it. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, that's... That was the bro, most important. Yes. Yeah, I was about to say, like, um, one person in particular, uh, like, like Jeezy, you know, I don't put Jeezy in the highest regard, but what I really love about Jeezy is that I can tell he cares. So yeah. you know, he may not be on a hundred three thousand level, mm-hmm. or you know, but that don't mean but, he care any less. But that don't mean he care any less about his project than they do. You feel me? Right. He just he just goes about his life in a different form. You feel me? Right. And that's what, that's why I, I fuck with him. Like I was just like, yeah, I fuck with Jeezy because I know he going in. He, he going to give you hundred ten percent from what he do. And to me, that's what's important. That's what's important. Having passion. Just having passion. Screw it. You know what I'm saying? Because you have passion, everything else is going to come together. You're going to always work on your craft. You're always going to try to perfect it and get better. So even if you come off, you know, low in the beginning, like, just because you put in them hours, you know, hit the 10,000 hours. You're going to be you gonna able to use something out of them 10,000 hours, like in, in hour 50,000. Like right. an hour fifty thousand, you go reflect back to like hour four thousand and five hundred and seventy four, and be like, "Yo, I've seen this before. I know how to do this. I'm not going for that no more." You know what I'm saying? Right. It just it's it's a growth process. You know what I'm saying? Like you care then, but like you might not have had no leverage or no power, but even no knowledge to be like, "Hey, like, whoa, the pump the brakes on that. Like, whoa, let's like not do this. Let's do it this way. Like, right? You can't do it this way, tell." Right. So I don't have assets. I just go get what I want. So that's just a a growth. I think that's a growth thing. Yeah, and And that's that's what I look for. I look for the that artists like to see if they if they grow, if they're like pushing pushing themselves first of all, and then after that pushing the envelope. You know what I'm saying? Not just doing the norm, but trying to come with something different and then being successful with it. So. Yeah, so I can appreciate that, and I appreciate you and the music that you know what I'm saying you presented to us so far. Um, now I got something off the off the road, off the off the path. This off question, um, it just it been racking my my brain for the past. I want to say about three months, bro. Been a good three three months. No, nope. yeah, yeah, about three months. About three months, this thing been racking my brain. And anybody who listened to the, the podcast, y'all gonna be like, yo, E, you sick for even saying this. But how in the hell did Gainesville get a get a cheesecake factory, bro? I'm trying to figure out how in the hell that shit happened because we ain't got one. I don't think we need one, but <laughs> I'm like, well, me and my fiance with the Gainesville. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I heard they be taxing. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, that's been a pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. No, it's Friday. Yeah. Huh? Right. It's daddy time. Y'all see that? <laughs> yeah. It's up. You good, bro? <laughs> yeah. That that was your yeah, boy. Uh, they be taxing. No, no, my people. They be oh, okay. taxing them in, man. I heard, uh, I heard like a plate was like forty five, fifty dollars for like some drinks. Oh yeah, no cheesecake. That's just that's cheesecake factory. Period. Like, I don't. Yeah, I, I ain't, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I ain't gonna say I ain't in the cheesecake, but I ain't had no outstanding cheesecake. I was just surprised that they even had it. Cause granted, in my view. Here in Tallahassee, <laughs> when I think of Gainesville, the only two things I think about: the Gators <laughs> and Shane's Hospital. It's basically the same thing because Shane's is part of the. <laughs> but like, but you know what though? Uh, I don't know if it's happening out there, but down like here, like we becoming like many Orlando. Like, yeah, that's what they doing. That's what they doing around here. Like that whole area that that Cheesecake Factory in. Right. Like I grew up in the area. They don't re. They don't put. At least a hundred million dollars into that area. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Over the last ten to fifteen years, they don't put they don't put a bridge through the interstate. You feel me? Right, like, right. I ain't never, I ain't never had that. You feel me? Like, 
we used to stay in one of them apartments that they cleared so they can put the road to go back there where they like gonna put new Nike store and all that. Stuff. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it's I'm I'm glad to see we get most of, but you know, that's that's just a part of you know that different space we're playing. Yeah. Now nah, it's um same thing up here. They got um a place called College Town, and yeah, I, I, it's like uh like we got like I, when I was down there, I was talking to Will about that. Like we got. That area, same thing, but we got a, uh, y'all even got the same restaurant we got down there. Uh, Yo, it's cookie cutter, bro. Man, that's crazy. So, the same restaurant, bro, and the same thing, you feel me? And I just was like, he was like, yeah, they all together. I'm like, that's it. They probably finna do that in games with two cities. Like, yeah, they is actually doing that to that whole block. They did renovate that whole block. Yeah. They renovated that whole block where we got our little college town out too. Yeah. And matter of fact, they just put a Wawa there too. And I'm, but, I'll be damned if they, they, they ain't trying to put a gas station, but make it a regular gas station. Like it was like, uh, it was like a uh, a plaza. They don't knock the plaza down and kept the Wawa. Wow. <laughs> they added. They add, Listen. They, they added the Wawa to the plaza. They knocked the rest of the plaza down and kept the Wawa. <laughs> Yo. Yo, anybody out there, especially if you're from Atlanta, Wawa is like the quick trip of Central. Man, listen, they are. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't know about Wawa until I started traveling um, and doing shows and stuff. But like, as of like a week ago, some of my homeboys told me some shit. But, like, I thought they had like the best stuff ever, ever. So I found out like they freeze their meat or some shit. Or like some mm. funky ass shit. You know? Right. Like once once I find out your recipe and there's some shit like that, I'm out. I'm out <laughs> right. Now, okay? Right. And I'm done. Like you know what I'm saying? Like once I find out Taco Bell meat come how it comes, I'm done. Done. Damn, look you, can't, you can't give me you can't give me the you know you boiling taco taco meat. Right. Where where do they do that? Never in history. Never in history. <laughs> Apparently they just changed the 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 recipe to they to they shit. I think I saw I heard that. I don't like I don't. I don't, I don't but, yeah, yeah, it it don't matter. I, I know for me, um, like granted, my uh, my wife, I could I could say wife now. Uh, <laughs> my wife, she likes Taco Bell, but but we don't eat meat, so we really just get like yeah, we just get like the vegetarian stuff, just like. Oh, y'all don't eat meat, don't y'all? Right. Yeah, don't let the weight grain, Ooh, don't let the weight fool you, bro. <laughs> this is because I like cake. <laughs> I, like, this is the I like cake box. Like, you should have seen my yeah. I like my I like meat box. It's out of control. It's out of control. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, a lot of people get it twisted. Matter of fact, uh, a few years ago, I was uh, I had to stop eating me on my own. Um, and <laughs> during the time, like I ain't gain no weight, but I ain't lose no weight. And people were like, you don't eat meat. You don't look like you don't eat meat. I'm like, nigga, I still eat cake, nigga, and donuts and shit. But like, <laughs> I got the. <laughs> <I've seen> <laughs> I'm not a vegan, like vegans don't eat hardly anything. That's what I need to do. Um, <laughs> but uh, hey, you know what though? Like I've been, uh, I've, I've, I've tried it. I ain't gonna say I tried it. I attempted to, to try it, but yeah. my one problem was like I didn't want to eat salads all day, mm. and then like I couldn't find like reliable, like you know what I'm saying? Like I know you're supposed to eat this, and then you know what I'm saying, uh, shrimp. Seafood and stuff, they don't really come in meat. But it's right. like, but it's only so many times I can take. And then I'm new to salmon. You feel me? Like, so I don't know. I don't know my way around no salmon. Like, you can tell me, right? Brown rice, you feel me? Like, I ain't even like, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I no. definitely understand. Like, so y'all got, y'all got recipes or like something I can follow? Yeah. No. Like, my wife, she. Yeah, she loved being in the kitchen. Um, I mean, that's that's what, like, that's why I did it first of all. Cause like when we first got together, she would make like two dishes, like a dish for me and a dish for her. 
I was like, you don't need to be doing all that. I ain't, I'm not a big meat lover. Never really been a big, a big meat lover. Pause. So, so I was just like, you know, I just eat what you eat. I'm straight. And so, I mean, if, it's be, if it's gonna be flavored, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, that's all I ask. Don't bring me no. She don't bring me no bread. Don't bring me nothing. Yeah, don't bring me nothing with no seasonings. I don't want none of that kale basket salad. Right. All <laughs> bad in my food. Right. A little bit of salt and pepper. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, she, she know how to feel like I'm That's that's what you feel like I'm eating. Huh? Make me feel like I'm eating. Yeah, no, no, no. She, she, she knows because I mean she's been. Uh, we actually pescatarian, so like we eat fish, but we just don't eat like, um, you know, steak, beef, Damn. all that other stuff. But she's been doing that since like her entire adulthood, so she knows how to, you know, whip up. Yeah, so she's, like, like, she's, she's an expert. Yes. Okay, yeah, like she can, she can so, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Right. Tell the truth. So I understand. You probably could go, go out in the forest right now and bring you a five horse meal with nothing but leaves and berries. <laughs> yeah, and I eat it. I'm like, mm, mm, I never would have thought I'd be eating leaves and berries right now. <laughs> hey, you put peppers on these berries? You put that? You put pepper on these berries? Yeah, it's smacking, huh? These days, smacking. These days, smacking. <laughs> yo, 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 bro, yo. I got. I tell people, you, get you a fee. I got my fee. Got my Felicia. Y'all better get y'all Felicia, bro. Oh, now I feel you on the on the side of like trying to live that lifestyle. Um, if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't because it's hard. It's hard to, like you said, get certain things and have the, especially if you don't know how to whip it around. Like if it was just me, nope. Psych. See your body, you know what I'm saying? Your body gonna act different when you put new stuff in it. Right. Like I, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, I'm, I drink water, but I've never been, like, super big on water. And, like, this week I started drinking, like, water just as much as I just so. Yeah. Like, I tell you, it fucked up my body so much. I was like, yo, I'm like, my body is, like, really rejecting water right now. Like, it's, like, really, like, like, it's, like, really, like, yeah, but I'm gonna make it stomach hurt. You're gonna drink a lot of water. <laughs> like, like, so I ate it everything, you feel me? <laughs> and it's like, all right, but you gonna do it? Go drink this, uh, decide if you want to, but your stomach can hurt. Right, right. I, drink, I don't know. A lot of people, you know people don't eat on the sun. I ain't got no problem with water. I drink whatever, but. Yeah, I ain't got, I ain't, yeah, I ain't got no problem with like specific water. Like, uh, it was one, it's like one of the things that tastes like metal. But other than that, like, I, I ain't even picking like, Yeah, I don't be, I don't, I don't be getting people. Hey, I don't drink any water. You brought the sunny to the party? Oh, we only drink small water. Right. <laughs> like, you'll get your bougie ass out of here. <laughs> Ain't nobody buying no four ass bottle of dollar away. Like, go to the faucet, boy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Biggest in America, boy. Right. <laughs> Yo, so we're going to go ahead, man. We're going to get these people a piece of, your, uh, piece of your music or whatever so they know what you're coming with. And then we're going to come back and uh, talk about the damn thing. And talk about what you got uh, going on in that aspect. So we got uh, Champagne featuring my man One Will, which is a friend of the show. And then also, too, we got Music by the Water produced by A.E. Beats. That'd be, that'd be hard, too. Y'all going to find out. That, that, yeah, man. That's one of my favorite songs, man. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, so we're going we to take a pause for the calls. And get into that, and we're gonna come right back. This is the Enigma Self Hour. You got time, baby. Boom, 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 and we back. It's your boy Enigma September, and this is the Enigma Self Hour. What you just heard was Champagne featuring One Will and Music by the Water, produced by A.E. Beats. And I got my man Blazel sitting here with us, um, straight from Alachua County. <laughs> I couldn't say a lot of for for a long time. <laughs> I get a little too friendly. Like he's like, "What is that? A lockway? A lockway? <laughs> what? Lockway, man!" But I, and it took me so long that people see it like that for real. I'm like, "Y'all ain't learned C eight, cuff, that ain't cuff." My two like lockway. Like, where is that? <laughs> lockway, right? Oh, I don't. 
Right. No, I don't. Yeah, man. It was, man. Like, I, and I work for the state. So you see it a lot, but you see it, you just don't hear a lot of people say it. So it took me yeah. a minute to be like, oh, it's a lot of I was that, that tongue tied. I like a lot. I like a lot. I like a shot. I like a lot. I like a lot. I like a lot. I like a Beautiful place to sit. Beautiful place to stay. Fucked up place to be fucked up. Mm. Maybe one day I'll find out when the, when the, when the world oh, opens back up. I mean, yeah, beautiful place. Beautiful place. That's <laughs> Don't come in here. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. So, we we'll come like to everybody. When it comes to the vibe and the music, bro, um, how how has the the city, how has the city influenced? You know, what I'm saying your vibes, man. Because I mean, like Tallahassee, Gainesville look like you got a lot of trees. So <laughs> I figure that's that's where the cool part come from. You know what I mean? Figuratively and literally. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just it's like it influences me by like you know this is for you. Know? So like. Most days are most days are shiny, beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To a certain time because it gets fucking extremely hot. Right. Um but you know, for the most part, like other than like one thing I did realize growing up, like we're in like the part of Florida where it's no work. So like mm-hmm. we really like South Georgia. You know what I'm saying? To be a book with you. You know what I'm saying? Um and once once I started getting out and traveling a little bit more, you'll understand why, like, we, we move a little bit slower up north Florida, you feel me? Right. They do down south, you feel me? And, like, right. you get a kind of understanding that, like, you know, it's just, it's different, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, once, once I figured that out, like, I didn't try to sound like I was from the South Florida. The South Florida is the sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, when I look back on it, like, like anything, what's that? East, West, Northwest, there isn't a sound for hip hop here. Right. Like you think Jacksonville and Orlando, they have sounds for, for those areas. Like between here and Tallahassee and Pensacola, there isn't too many, like, I know Bobby Cisco is doing this thing, but you know what I'm saying? There isn't like a created sound. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. I wanted something that sounded like me. You know what I'm saying? It sounded that I could live my everyday life too, you know what I mean? And like I said, uh I I listen to a lot of Florida music and to me it's the same type of it's the same same way that just like like I'm not, I can't move as fast as people do it on Lando. It's like right. I'm being in jail right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. how small games are. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So like you gotta you know, you gotta you gotta pick and choose, you know what I'm saying? And, and just decide which battles you're gonna fight. So you know, like it's just about just being myself every day. You know what I'm saying? I try to be myself as possible every day so I can be myself in my music. And that way I can just be myself. Cause like all that shit comes with uh, you fake it once, you gotta fake it twice. You fake it twice, you gotta fake it three times. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Don't stop. And so you just stay real. Everything will just come back. Word. That's now, with that, um, how did how did you and One Will link up? You know what I mean? I mean, I know the internet made things really, really small, uh, but it's still just interesting how you guys um, just come together. It's almost like a brotherhood, you know? And like I said, I'll be watching ever since you came up here and performed and started following you or whatever. Uh, but how did that link up between you and him happen? Um, he, I think he was like on. I think he was traveling somewhere. Like past, I think he was going to open. And like we had spoke once, and uh, he, asked, I think he, he might have asked me for a feature or like asked me or something. Like I, I told him we could we could make it happen or we could just talk and uh, just. And he was like, he's from Tallahassee. He was gonna holler at me and like so you know, usually when artists say stuff like that, I just be like, all right, cool. You can mm-hmm. how much it was. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really saying nothing. I just told him. Then like he hit me up like he told me he was gonna be 
around a certain time, and I was like, all right, cool, just hit me up small way time. And what I said, I'm like, like, if you need me, I'll be with her. And like, she was like, yeah, I'm coming in Tallahassee, like, you know what I'm saying? Got a minute, you know what I'm saying? And he pulled up, like, I told him where to meet me, he pulled up, and like, here, like, I don't know, in other cities, there's all local things. Like, I have people, like, in my mind, like, I've seen artists not come out of the house for their part. You know? Right. And I've seen artists, like, not come to an event on their homeboy that was, like, three minutes on the road or something. Right. You know what I mean? Not, right. not, not intentionally, but just not thinking that, like, yo, that's my partner. I want to look out for him or I want to help him. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got good fits for the dude. So, like, when somebody comes from Tallahassee, like, I got friends who, like, who don't come to every show, and I don't hold that together. And I might hold my, my rapper friend, like, to a higher standard, because, like, yo. Right, like, you win I this give you, I'll give you, Like, if I give you five minutes, like, if I just decide to give you five minutes of my set, you at the crib tonight. You feel me? Like, right. so, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, right. you ain't right here. You ain't right here just because you want to be right here to learn or just to be on my, be on my side and just pick up games. So I roll solo a lot because of that reason, because I'm trying to help people. And like, it just never, it just never works out for me. And so like, I, me, I I know. for a long time, <laughs> for a long time, I just, I just, I saw, I saw a stop. And like, I'm the type of person, like if you show me something, like show me a leap of faith. Right. Like, I'm, I'm more, I'm more loyal to like, you like putting more faith into me than you might put into yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, Right. Taking a two hour drive to come meet somebody, you don't know how they gonna act. How you know what I'm saying? Like you don't you don't know me from a can of paint. I could go deeper style in any moment. And you you would just have to take that because you ain't know what you was coming out of. Right. Except for you might except for what you thought you might have been getting into. So you know what I mean. Once he uh he came down here and that meant that meant just a lot to see that like, yo, but you took a two hour drive. Mind you, was going somewhere else, but you, you came out your way, you feel me, to come holler at me. Right. So, like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I, I, I got this down so whenever we do, if we do something, I got to make sure I got to make sure I look out for you. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, that, that's, that's what goes through my mind automatically. All right, cool. Like, you want to fuck with me. So now I got to make sure I look out for you. You know what I'm saying? And right. I'll give you whatever I got. Because that's the type of person I'm So... You know, uh, we talked, and we talked a couple more times, and then we, like, found the right time to make something happen. And, uh, like, he did it. Brother did exactly what he said. You feel me? He did good business. And to me, uh, to me, to me, uh, that, that, that showed me that he wa- he was just as serious as me. Right. But he's a little bit younger than me. And so, like, I can remember being in that position and not having nobody serious to like really bounce ideas off of. And, and you know what I'm saying? Because when I say I'm 31 now, I think about it, this is like the last seven, eight, nine, ten years. It was right. the first time artists are able to go independent. Right, right, and right. This is like hip hop is only 50, 40, 50 years old. So like I like me and your generation, we gonna be the first 40, 50 year old hip hop fan. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you know we, we literally grew so, up so, in it. Yeah, because we grew up in it. So we're going to literally be the first 40, 50 uh, hip hop fans because the other ones before us created. Right. Yep. So, like, in my mind, like, I have, like, this and on some other shit, I have another 15 years. Like, if I think about the longevity, because they're going to be people who are going to just love music after that long as it's solid or woody, you know what I mean? But, um, like I said, man, he showed me that he was serious. And, like, I just seen something that, like, you know, if I had somebody that I could fucking take serious, because, like, there were people at the time that when I was that age who didn't give me a fucking eye shadow or an eye back. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And it's because I don't have nothing. They didn't care that I wasn't spend no money with them. They ain't, like, because I wasn't nobody. And, like, I always t- told myself if I ever got in a position, I over anybody, no matter where I was on the on the totem pole, I wouldn't treat anybody who doesn't have less or hasn't been as far as I am a certain way. So you know what I mean? Uh once Brush showed me he was serious, you pretty much like locked in. Like 
anything I do, like, you you do like it. That's pretty much how I roll. Like, uh, I got another friend, like, he raps too. Like, anytime I do something, like, before Will, it was like, I only really trusted one other rapper. Mm. Friend. You feel me? So, like, uh, I got another friend who used to rap, but, like, I don't consider him a rapper. But, like, as far as rapper, rapper friends, like, I got one more other person that I would, like, I would totally go out my fucking way to do anything for me or do anything, like, if you ask me. So, like, I got that same type of feeling with Will, and I'm like, shit. Like, the type of person I am, like, yo, if I tell you to pull up, I'm not going to tell you to pull up for no reason. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, if I tell you to pull up, I got something for you. So, if you pull up and you come to the show, I'm like, hey, here's the microphone. You got five minutes. You right. Know, right. You feel me? And like, you know, him showing me that he always ready on time and about his business, and you feel me? Like, he, he a man of his word, like, that makes me want to like work a little bit harder. Feed feed, yeah. Feed, yeah, feed into it. Like, yo, bro, I'm going to give you everything I got. So if something happens to you, it happens to me. Right. Not now, because it happens to you, because I. Well, I, said, I love that energy. Yeah. I love how like you can tell y'all feeding off each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell yeah. there's a, yeah. even exchange of ideas and just trying to grind with each other. And I know I mentioned it in the call before we. Uh, we got on, you know what I mean? Like, you really give me that, that will, that whiz, my will. <laughs> that whiz currency vibe, you know what I'm saying? As far as you got two entities that you know they can move on their own, but they can come together at any time. And that connect just seem like, you know, almost yeah. like magical, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I, uh, I, I feel that way, you know what I'm saying? Like. Like, I didn't know the music was going to be that way until, like, you know what I'm saying? Until I see how people reacted to it. And I just was like, damn, like, people fuck with this, like. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, really fuck with this, you know what I'm saying? And I just was like, yo, like, whatever it takes to keep going, like, I'm going to work hard to keep this going. Well, well, there was the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, like you say, we feed off of each other, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he might send me something now. And I listen to it and be like, yo, damn, I gotta get fly. <laughs> I gotta go out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, you know, and vice versa. I just got I got a love for the person Will is as a person. And that's what makes me love him as an artist. Right. Is that like he's that same person that he is in his rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, uh I've always been the type of person I like my artists how they present their art. Right. Like, if you present your art gangster, I want you to be gangster. Like, 06 Gucci Man, I love 06 Gucci Man. Because he was, like, if he said it, he did it. You right. know what I'm saying? That's just, how, that's just how, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it was, you know what I'm saying? So, like, right. that's just the type of person I am. Like, I don't want to get around you. And, like, you got choppers in, in all your videos, and we riding in the hood, and you got a fucking little nine. Right. I'm going to be pissed. Right. I'm going to be pissed. Cause I thought we were protected. Yeah, there's you know what I'm like we not authentic. Like, like that's the energy you you present to yourself. And like I said, I'm I'm grown, so like I know what I can get myself into. So I hop in the car, knowing what could and what can happen with certain people. You know what I'm saying? I'm past the point in my life where I don't hop in the car with random people. And stuff. So, right. Like, but like I said, like if I know I'm getting in the car with somebody, like if it's a gangster rapper, well, please be gay. Don't get in no hood, like, you know what I'm saying? Or do no funny shit, you feel me? Because then I'm just going to be like, disappointed. Right, right. Disappointed. Like, be who this, you are. Yeah, it's be yeah. who you say you are, you know what I'm saying? And that's just like, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It works yeah, with music, yeah. but just like, period. Like, yo, just be who you, like you said, you tell one lie, now you got to tell two. You tell two, now you got to tell three, and they ain't no way Now to you got to tell four, now you got to tell a lie every day. Right. You gotta tell a lot every day. Now, how does that eat away eat away to eat away at the soul, man? Yeah. But before we get up out of here, bro, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and let people know how they can get in contact with you and how they can get to the music. All right, uh remember it's Blazel, like Hazel, but Blazel, I hate Blazel. Um you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Blazel Double M. Make sure you like, follow. Or uh, tweet the boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm always, always got some shit on. YouTube, <laughs> Money and More TV. 
Uh, check out Champagne Music. Uh, it's mostly more weird shit. I'm just there to fucking hold pictures up. And I think I held the microphone <laughs> up a couple of times. Yeah. I, I said a couple words. I got a couple words on that thing. But uh, Champagne Music, Champagne Spillers, Volume 1. Go check that out. Uh, check out all the latest new music, Music by the Water. I got uh, my first album, like, I'm going to call this like my real first album uh, coming out September 18th. Continental Breakfast. Make sure you check that out. Mm. I got the boy one with uh, and a couple of other my games at home. Uh, and like I said, man, I'm just out here smoking good for Florida, rapping good for Florida, man, and just hoping we can bring bring a new sound. You know what I'm saying? I love our sound. Like, don't get me wrong. I love our sound. Just want to like, you know, bring it in a different light, you know what I mean? I want to bring out, I want to bring out something else. You feel me? Like I grew up on that. I grew up on the street. The JT money, you feel me? Right. The, the, the church, you feel me? I grew up on all of that, bro. He paying all of that. Struggles, all of that. Right. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. Have that. your life. You got to do what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. We grow, you feel me? And niggas grow, you feel me? So we all had getting money, selling shirts, and drinking smoothies now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Came a long way from that black tea to the hot ass sun. <laughs> All right. Well, bro, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. I really appreciate um, you giving the time. The day has been a mad, crazy day. And man, let me tell it, bro. Like, you know what it was? It was that fucking full moon. It was the full moon last night, bro. That's, it was. That's what the fuck got, it was. That's what got every, bro. I've been thinking that till just now, but that's what got everything all fucking thrown off. Like, that's why, like, I ain't been able to do shit today because it was a full moon last night and, like, everybody's lost their shit today. Yo, I like, remember being outside like, and my fiance, oh, my wife, brother, she called us. She was like, baby, look at the moon. And you right. <laughs> like, no, listen, I was outside smoking till last night and I said, now watch, I said, now watch tomorrow today. Watch tomorrow be a fucking full moon. I'll be damned. That's the first time I ever thought about that since I said that last night when I was looking at that semi. Boy, look at this. No, you all you all the way on point. You all the way on point. But yeah. Where's the um, But yeah, we're gonna get up out of here um next week to all the people, all the listeners. Um I do have another guest. Of course, I'm not gonna announce it because A of course announce the guest. It doesn't work out and what if, you don't like it? what if y'all don't like y'all not gonna listen. <laughs> or B, the other part is it's damn full moon and I ain't even announce it so something can happen. So the nigga, and he just canceled and he just canceled and he just be like, fuck it. You right. know what I'm saying? COVID. That's, that's be like, be like, like, and, but I will say be like COVID. I can't uh, right. uh, I can't come through. Like it's it's a Zoom call. You don't have to come through. He's like, he's like I can't he's like I can't COVID. He's like, it's a Zoom call, dude. He's like, what are you talking about? I can't, my phone. My phone is sick. Right. Oh, I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Yo. Hey, this was two good episodes, man. I love this. I love this. Um, like, like, they told, like, I listened, I listened to a couple episodes before, and, like, Will was like, yeah, he's funny. I'm like, I'm like, but you know how I get down. Like, I, I ain't really got no, too much shit. That's a good one. Like, you know what I'm, I'm goofy. I'm, I'm, I'm goofy. I don't know about fun. I try to be funny. I'm really just, I'm just oh, a goofy no, ass guy. Like, my funny comes from being a smart ass. Like, there's, there's right. like, there's a little asshole somewhere in my humor bowl, like, typing this shit up. Like, he be, he's being cynical. Very cynical. It's just funny. Right. It's just funny. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, a Bravo last week, uh, and my man's uh, big old G out of uh, Mariana. Like, y'all three, like you said, it's, it's like, it's asshole shit, but it's like, it's funny. It's not necessarily offending. It's not necessarily a shit like, yeah, I'm, it's not I'm, I'm it just, can't get it, so. it can't get but, it comes, but it comes from like, a, it comes from a good place. So like, I gotta tell people like, if I say something that offends you, trust me, I'm not offending you, I'm just saying, what I'm saying, so I'm sorry if it offends you, but like I ain't, I know I'm not saying offensive stuff. I didn't know some things offend people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, it's how you use the words, man. It's always how you use it. No doubt. But we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Um, 
Again, if you're on YouTube, man, hit that subscribe button. If you're not on YouTube, listen to the podcast. Again, hit that subscribe button, whatever you listen to the podcast through. Um, and also, also remember, also, also, I can't tell. Also remember to check out www.freedomtrainradio.com. Um, check out all the other podcasts over there. And I'd be remiss before I get up out of here. I should have did it in the beginning of the podcast. I know his mama's not going to listen to this whole thing just to get, get to the shout out. But happy, happy birthday to my godson, Jason. He turned 10 years old today, which means okay, I'm happy happy birthday. Birthday. the 40. Yeah, man. That's that's my. Hey, man. I'll, I'll, use the, I'll use that number while I'm out. Yeah. I'll use that number while I'm out. 10? I'll use that number. No, 40. What? It's, it's, you see it. <laughs> Hey, hey you look you make it look good. You make it look good now. You Man. make it look good. I've seen I've seen some people 35 and they don't look that good. They look, yeah, they ain't gonna yeah. <laughs> nah. They don't look that good. See? Yeah, it, that body I, don't crack. I I, I, I would be the height if they ain't decided to be a parent at at 36 <laughs> instead of doing it earlier. Hey, 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 hey listen, listen, hey, you trust you way wiser like I I ain't gonna say like being a young ten is hard. Like it is I, hard. Like, like I'm just going into being a man. So like, it, yeah, it's like it's easy for me. Like now I'm thirty. Like I said, I'm thirty one. Like it's way easier for me to deal with stuff. Like I would. Like I couldn't imagine my twenty five year old self having to deal with some of the stuff I got to deal yeah. with. Yeah, no, no, no. I probably go. I go nuts on somebody. Like I literally like lose my shit on somebody. Right. Fuck up my whole life, you feel me? So I just, you know, I thank God for growth, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like some people don't even make it to our age, bro. You know? Right, right. Uh, I, I'm still, I'm still counting my blessings. Like, let me, let me get to forty before I even start counting. Uh, like, let, me get, let me get it. Let me get yeah. it. Let me get it. Yeah. So some people don't. Man, that's a word. That's a whole word. So we're gonna get up out of here, man. I appreciate you, bro. Salute, you know what I'm saying? Um, oddly enough, <laughs> I, was about, I was supposed to wear an FSU cap, not on purpose. Oh, there, you Just, there you go. My 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 ass jacket. Right that now. Game you, I that I, you know what? I, that's what I should have done. Real talk. That, that, that would that would, that would hey that would have been a great gesture for the people out here. They would have yeah. definitely like like I told you, it'd be hard for me to go eat places since yeah. I left out of half. Man. I hope y'all got an apartment down there for me. <laughs> yeah, the hot you out. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, I wouldn't try to have a stimino shirt, but look here. No, I, I don't even think. I don't even. Yeah, I don't got nothing. I, I, I probably should have. Yeah. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Next time, yeah, next time you on here, I got nothing. Matter of fact, hey, I know what's in here. I know what's in here. I'm, I know what's in here. I'm going to say this. Next time, I'm going to be decked out. I'm going to holler at my cousin, Raven October. Cause he a big gator. He he 